viewers just want to make a quick uh, update on some parts I got in today and <clears throat> uh, T-Bone Racing uh, stuck to their word actually came pretty fast less than a week uh, just want to show you guys the new Arma Outcast bumper I uh, have not seen anybody on YouTube that has it and I have to say it is definitely a new and improved Arma Creighton outcast bumper it is solid guys i can't see this bumper breaking or as a shovel like the old one it is absolutely awesome so <clears throat> i changed the screws to stainless steel guys but as you can see it bolts into the front two flathead screws and for some reason it feels lighter it's like this is solid guys like and the way they made this piece it feathers in it like they actually made it mold everything lined up perfect all the screw holes everything it's absolutely just solid they made a a molding here it's like a hinge pin molding like you'd think like one of these on the bottom and it comes right around <clears throat> it actually is this one's like bent they molded it nicely I went and put my steel plate under it so my screws won't come out gives it that extra support but that that bumper is absolutely solid guys like like I can't it just feels good so, if you guys want a good bumper, <clears throat> I suggest this one for uh, the Outcast. I I wasn't gonna buy any more uh, <clears throat> uh, T-Bone Racing uh, bumpers for my Outcast, but this one I obviously didn't pay for it. But <clears throat> I would buy another one, and I probably will. And for the Truckified Typhon. This is going out today, I'll be making a video, but I wanted to show you guys, I haven't seen anyone with these, uh, the shock guards. I changed them all to stainless steel, and there's little uh, aluminum fittings here that gives you your depth. Plastic ones come with it, I had aluminum spacers, and they happen to fit awesome. So I put those in and then I put two washers on each side and I put washers in front of my bolts and then I locked lock tight the two nuts. Usually there, there's only one but I locked them both. And this thing guys is absolutely solid. Like I, it, I thought it wouldn't be but once it's locked down it lines up. Perfect. It protects the front of your shocks. I find this is way better than those shock caps. So I won't be putting those shock caps on this. And the suspension is just beautiful on this. I'm running a 45 weight, I think. Yeah, 45 in this. I got a little bit of lift on it. But that's perfect. My rear might tune it a little bit more, but got some good bounce I actually think it's nice I like it there's 50 in the back um, so yeah guys I just wanted to show that um, <clears throat> I am running both the HD diff, diff uh, gearboxes now they're both in there I got all that done so uh, just waiting for the hot racing linkage and all my uh, carbon fiber and a few other things and that'll be my next video okay guys I just wanted to show that um, if you're interested I would recommend it getting it so you don't wreck your shock caps and shock towers uh, I see rich uh, duper bash he puts a thick rubber rubber piece over his shock tower and it seems to be working for him so if I couldn't, if I didn't have this, I probably would have went that route too. But uh, we'll see how these hold up, and if they don't hold up, I'll figure something out.
Thanks, guys.